Okay, so I've started recording. Yeah. So um if you are you made mention like the first week you struggle with it because it could be maybe the challenges itself or perhaps because you are just getting started at that point. So I don't know if Reddit has anything to say about how maybe you can help out with that, maybe private session or anything, if it's possible on the first week or if it's something you can work on. Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, we encourage asking questions and like if there are some things that are blurry and so if you're confusing about things, you can ask anytime. So I was really going to be we're, we're supposed to help food if you have asked the question in that week. But yeah, let's just hear from you what part of the data analysis or the challenge were challenging or confusing, collecting the data or the, the part that is after that, analyzing and making some decisions based on the data, which part was somehow confusing. And maybe if we can, if it, if it is that important and that, uh, mm, uh you know mandatory we can of course uh, make schedule a time for you uh, for your computer for the questions you have and we can clarify them but it's recommended to ask some question, questions related with that with challenging that week uh but of course yeah let's hear from you and yeah let's decide if we need another session i mean you know we can maybe we can just type some notes give you some notes or give you some a little bit clarification on that what part of the challenge was uh, were confusing? Okay, Think. so for me, it was from the data cleaning down to the visualization on um, the um, Lucas Studio. I couldn't handle the Lucas Studio at all, even though I tried to use other information from YouTube. It was, it was not something I could relate with. And I feel mm. that maybe it's because it's a new um, terrain for me. This project, money, I'm, I'm very new to it. But for data analytics, it's I don't think it's it's to be the first class we should have. But I've had other classes in data analytics. Maybe I will be on it. But that's it. From data cleaning down to visualization, that's where I had the challenge. So if I remember this correctly, the data before the data analysis, it, it is the data that you've collected using AIs, right? About the stock market, um, yeah. About the seven magnificent companies. Is that the challenge? Sorry, I didn't get that. So what's the challenge uh, about? So I think one of the challenges related with the data, with data in your project was the the challenge that is related with collecting data uh, of like the past five years of seven companies was that the challenge that we're talking about? No, so, no, but that, this one okay, was that's for, not the challenge. Not seven companies. The very first, the very first oh, okay. challenge was for yeah, about the solar yes. radiation. Yes, right. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I thought it was the second one. So the data in the second uh, challenge, on the, on the challenge that I mentioned, they were little, so I was confused that it's not going to be that difficult. So um, I get it. So I think we might yeah, we might prepare maybe let me talk with other tutors, tutors and we might prepare you uh, some sessions. But have you uh, checked the videos on those week videos or yeah. like, uh, sessions on those week? And still the same. Yes, yeah, I have, I have, I've checked them. It's still same class, so it's not simplified to my understanding. <laughs> okay, then I will try to get back to you with things that are uh, maybe in mode or maybe some videos or like uh, let me talk with the tutor and I will get back to you. Thank you so much. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Um, so the on the second part where you made mention about your PNO responding. So what I'll do is there's this other person that contacted me this week. So me, I'll link you with the person that you guys will do the tax together. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.
So um, welcome Yusuf, Makida, and if to Sira. So yeah, so we went on with introduction. So you can just go and introduce yourself as well. You you still you good. I'm sorry about the way I pronounced the name. Okay, Yusuf has left. So Makida, I can introduce yourself then and uh, if to Sira to thank you um thank you Miriam. uh hello everyone um, so my name is Makda Shmelis. uh i work as a project manager for u2j in Katiga at 10 academy uh and just to uh go through my background i i graduated in computer science uh from a private college uh in addis ababa and then I uh, got my first job as a backend uh, de developer. Not my first job, maybe let's say my first internship. And then I uh, transitioned into a Scrum Mastery. Then I finally landed up in project management. And now I work as a project manager at Tain Academy. I think that's it. <laughs> OK. Um, so if to say that, please go on and, and please um, tell me the correct pronunciation of your name. OK, thank you. Good morning, guys. Uh, good sisters. <laughs> OK, um, if to say my title, as you see in the name. And uh, I'm in Ethiopia and working for the Ministry of Agriculture. And my background is a forester in forestry and natural resource management. I'm working for the ministry for the last 10 years, plus uh, in other projects inside the ministry for other three additional years. So I have uh, almost a 15 years experience in the sector and uh, still working there as a specialist in natural resource management. And uh, I'm studying my master's in environment and sustainable development in Addis Ababa University. Thank you. All right, thank you and welcome. So, so far with the training at UTJ, how have you been handling it with your job? How has it been going so far with you? It's very nice and uh, a plus for me to, to know main things, especially for uh, state of the art technologies to use for further development of my profession. And uh, the only thing that I'm challenged is the time. I'm a mother of two with no maid in the house. <laughs> and I'm a student in the, as, as I said, and I'm a field and um, office worker in the ministry. And it's a bit challenging to follow up the, the YouTube job uh, training on time. That's the biggest challenge. And, uh meeting the deadlines with those assignments is a bit challenging for me and i'm now working through the night to meet not to leave the you to the opportunity so really sorry about that i can only imagine how you're handling it's like with the motherhood, your job, and then the training is really incredible. So, um, so far with the challenges, maybe from the week one, we are in week four now. Is there anyone like that you have, you've really been struggling with and you need help on? As I say, it's, it's a matter of time. I need uh, more time to internalize the assignments and do more uh, qualified jobs or uh, on the challenges. That's the only challenge. And everything is going well with uh, your side. Thank you for that. 
All right. So yeah, that's good. So in, just in case if you have any questions or anything, you can reach out to any of the um, tutors to help out either um, in personal message or on the Slack channel, like the general group, just to reach out. All right, I, Makeda, do you want to add anything or read it? Do you want to add anything as well? Um, so from my side, uh, all I wanted to say was that uh, it would be really great for us to communicate uh, either on Slack or on any other sessions that we have uh, during the week. Uh, and so, especially on stand-ups and also if you have time and you attend tutorials, it would be great for you guys to ask questions uh, or even share your progress because it would also be, it would also mean um, motivation for others that we have in the um, uh, group. So I was also expecting uh, more than at least five uh, um, trainees uh, to see in the women's session, but we only have to end. And so I was thinking it would be great for you guys to contact the women we have in the training and you guys can create groups. Could be to discuss about the training uh, or could be another, um, another thing uh wherever you're told it and so i think we should uh, try to improve that as a whole and also make sure to ask and contact uh, the trainees whenever you have a problem or whenever you don't understand it, the um, challenge we provide and so yeah i think we should uh, really get to support each other and also uh, that would help others to communicate because many of the women we have in most of our trainings uh, are a bit shy and so they don't speak up. Maybe they would think uh, if they speak or ask, maybe that's not the right question or maybe that's not the right answer or maybe that's not the right focus, but it's okay and we're all here to learn. So uh, it would be really great for you guys to uh, be actively engaged. And the team is always here to help. We can also actually um, organize a meeting whenever it's possible. And whenever you guys need a support, maybe after the challenge document is introduced, maybe the next day after the introduction of the challenge, if you guys have any questions. Could be any time, but whenever you need that, we can also arrange that. And yeah, so it would be great to support each other. All right, um, thank you, Makeda. So, um, Edith, do you have any other thing you want to add? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I really admire the way that you're struggling with Tessera and if, if anyone, both of you. It's really nice of you. I mean, yeah, good for you too. But maybe if there's something that you can, uh, some suggestions that you can give about the sessions. Um, I mean, the structures, where are they helpful or if there's something that you want to add or that you want to see on the session periods, any suggestion, positive, negative feedbacks, acceptable, so that it, it will help us how to shape the training sessions <clears throat> and to make some improvement. So if you have any suggestion, you can go. If anyone, we might start with you. <clears throat> All right. Um, okay, go on. Okay, uh, as I said, I, I always asking for the time and the deadlines in every session. So if if you have uh, a possibility to see uh, the deadline management, maybe it's, I don't know, uh, but it's better to have some time to complete effectively the the deadline, the assignment is, uh, we should have some additional time as to me, as uh, as my challenges, as I, as I said, uh, I need some time even to complete perfectly the assignments. I love the assignments and I need to, I need to work 
correctly. I need to analyze it. I need to internalize it. But to just to meet the deadlines, I just uh, I just did somehow not as much as I I I can do the assignments. So if I have time, additional time, more time, if possible for you to extend the deadlines from now, uh, it's better to meet the requirements of the challenge. Um, okay. Okay, go on, Oh, Okay, I was just about to say that we have actually um, um, updated the late policy that we had. So now you guys have 48 hours grace period for, uh, to submit your uh, assignment. And we open the uh, look for submission as early as we can, at least 12 hours before the submission time. And so you have to sort of, so you don't have to try to get everything perfect, especially for the interim submission. We, we just want you to try to make it on time with, with what you have. So when you try to get everything right and everything perfectly, you miss you miss the actual point. Maybe uh, you might even miss the idea of why you're submitting. So if you could just take the challenge bit by bit, and then we actually uh, prepare the challenge by task. So if you just look at that, and if the submission is requiring task one and task two, then you try to work on task one, and then if you think that's uh, what you can do, then you can just submit that and you can reach out to the tutors and say, hey, I didn't have time. I just uh, only worked on task one and so I will need time for task two, maybe a few. So if you submit task one on time and then and then the other task that you have to submit in the entrance submission within, let's say, 24 hours, then that's okay. So we have 48 hours after you submit, after the deadline. The actual submission time so you have that now if you haven't uh, seen the announcement that we need so you have 48 hours did you know that yes uh, so the 48 hours uh, can be added in the leaderboard it says uh, it's it's not counted in the leaderboard if if it if you submit in the 48 hours i think um oh it, yeah, yeah yeah so it's not gonna yeah. be found on the leaderboard um, but it will be graded okay and so i'm i'm saying if you submit at least one task on the first uh engine submission and the uh, one yes. so and then you can actually submit on time for the final submission because i you have around three days so the engine so, submission is every Wednesday. No, so no matter what, uh, it's not uh, added in the leaderboard if it's uh, graded. Um, so uh, it's not going to be count on the leaderboard if you submit it late. Le later than eight, 48 hours or in the 48 hours? Uh, no, in the 48 hours. After Within, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, so that that's what I understood. Yeah. So what I suggest is for the entrance submission, you mm -hmm. can just work because I understand the first some, the, the first challenge introduction is on Monday, and then you have to submit your first submission on Wednesday. So like so that's only one day in between, and you might not have time. So that's okay. We don't uh, expect you to submit everything by then so you can okay. work on it. so you can okay. work I'll, on I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll try uh, mm -hmm. anyway but yeah and uh, also if you don't yeah. have if you don't have time you can mm -hmm. always reach out to the tutors i mean ready it can help you can okay. create a group and add me and ready it or any other tutor that you uh want to ask and then we're always there to help and that also mm -hmm. i think uh will be good for your efficiency. Thank you for your support, Makada. Thank you for that. You're, you're welcome.
All right, um, thank you, Makida. So, any other suggestions? All right, then I don't think we have it. Okay, Matkida, you want to say something? No, I was just gonna say I didn't hear what you said. Okay, okay. So I said any other suggestions? I think we've answered the questions that um, that you have. Then is there any other suggestions? Any other thing? Um. So if I may, uh, I would suggest that you guys uh start up. Uh, progress recording uh, notes. It could be a note or it could be anything, but for you guys to actually track what you, mm -hmm. what you are doing, I'm sorry, uh, what you are doing every week. And then by the end of the training, maybe you could say, so when I started, I was like this, like this, and now it's this. So that way, I think uh, it would be great for you guys to actually track what you, what your progress. Uh, could be over the your participation in sessions or could be in your submission. Yeah, I think that would help. And also, we have around eight weeks left. So I'm sure, I'm sure it will get easier. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to meeting deadlines. You'll get used to uh, communicating. Or you'll get, you'll, get, you'll get used to everything, actually. I believe, at least so. Just um, yeah, I think you guys could um, take it easy on, on yourself and yeah, and we're we're, we're here, so yeah. that that's my suggestion. All right, uh, yeah. <laughs> So I think that is all we have. And if there's any other questions or any other suggestions, you can just drop them on the Slack channel. So yeah, let me end the recording and then we can call it a day. Um, yes, I think so.